Well, in these economic times, more and more people are losing jobs, but at the same time, some of those people are taking advantage of their situation and going to work for themselves by starting their own businesses. Whether you're in that situation or just looking to turn your passion into a business, where do you begin? Here with some answers to your questions is small business expert, Lisa Eisen. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Lisa and I actually have known each other for quite a while, and uh, I knew you were still doing this, this kind mm -hmm. of uh, consulting, if you will, and so wanted to have you because we, we feature a lot of businesses on the show, mm -hmm. you know, and, and companies and, and nonprofits and just a little bit of everybody, but we're, we're hearing how tough it is to have a business these days in this economy. Sure. Let's start by first telling us what is it that you do exactly? How do you help people? Well, I have, um, my background is economic development for over 20 years. The last 15 has been helping startup businesses. Okay. So um, now I travel mostly in the southeast and especially in the rural areas to help communities who want to start entrepreneurial programs and help them to help small businesses get started. Okay, so you're a consultant and you help us get started and make that jump and, and make that jump and land safely without you yes. know, going off the deep end as they say. Well, and we were talking about the economic climate the way that it is. Right. What are you telling people these days the way that the economy is? Should they, shouldn't they? Well, typically um, when the economy is down is when small businesses start because mm -hmm. people may lose their job because of downsizing, layoffs, or so forth. Right. And they w want to stay uh, close to home, especially when we have such a nice quality of life as we do around here. Sure. They have children in school, they don't want to move them, they like it, so their first best option may be to start a business. Okay. But my job is to let them know really what's involved in starting a business to Got make it. sure that's the right choice. So for anybody watching who maybe is thinking, uh, another um, way that I've seen it is that a lot of, I see a lot of like crafters and artisans that are starting right. to do home-based businesses and things like that. Right. So if somebody's thinking along those lines, what are you suggesting these days? Um, it's very common now for um, artisans to start businesses or to turn their hobby into a business, okay. especially with the internet option now. Right. They can sell globally and still work out of their basement or their living room. Mm -hmm. um, we see a lot of foods, um, food products coming up too. Oh. People that um, have a uh, Secret favorite recipe, recipe. <laughs> right, and they want to commercialize that. And there, there are a lot of um, steps to go through with regulations and right. so forth. So you can't just bake a pie and take it over right. and, and sell it. Those days are gone. Those <laughs> days are gone. So uh, we see a lot of that, especially in the rural communities. Again, the food, foods, artisans, um, just any kind of a small business, hobbies turned into a business. Okay. So. One of the things that I saw in your notes that I thought was would be a great idea if I were trying to start a business is that you suggest finding a mentor. Yes. Um, and if you talk to uh, seasoned entrepreneurs, people mm -hmm. that have been in business for a long time, and ask them, how did you get started in the business or what has kept you going? They'll always, most of the time, refer back to a person who helped them get started, who encouraged them, who's been there through the years to help them. Uh, to be able to lean on them for right. advice because right. um, you're out there by yourself when you're an entrepreneur. So and that's scary. To have someone, whether it's a family member, someone from your church, um, you know, a best friend or whatever, find that mentor to help you. And here's the one, the, probably the question I don't want to ask, but we have to be honest here. Mm -hmm. There are pitfalls, there are. As, as with anything. You know, you try something once or you're starting something new, there are some pitfalls. Right. So what, what we should consider those too. Uh, you should consider those first. Oh, um, first. Typically, when someone comes to me about starting a business, I don't want to hear about the business. I don't want to hear about their idea. Oh. I want to set the stage for what they're really getting into. Okay. Most people that want to start a business say, I want to be my own boss. I want to make lots <laughs> of money. I want to work when I want to work. I so love that's the first. Uh, uh, realization they need to to find out about. It's long hours. You don't get a paycheck every right. Friday. Uh, you don't get to go to Little Joe and Johnny's ball games every week. Right. So um, I want them to know that sort of you're not going to make a lot of money right. <laughs> first. Sort of start with what could go wrong, and then if you can accept right. that, then move to the next right. stage. And I, I look for that passion. Do they have what I call fire in the belly? Okay. Because it is something you have to stick with. Okay. And then the other part of that is the family commitment. Okay. We well, don't want to see a divorce. That's we want true. To see a, uh, wanna, we want to see a business. Exactly. Crime. We don't want to abandon kids or anything like right. that. Well, all of that is great information, and we have to move on, but I want to thank you so much for being here. And, folks, you can get in touch with Lisa. She is a business incubation specialist at lisa at iotasite.com, or you can call her at 525 
5194. Again, thank you so much for being here.